Say man, hey man. It's your boy Do It All Hollywood back with another NBA 2K24 next gen build video. But before I get into the build, I need you guys to let me know in the comments what's your favorite way to recharge during the weekend? What's your favorite way to recharge during the weekends? And don't forget to hit the link in the description to subscribe to my homie's podcast called The Guys and the Recovery Room Podcast. So today, my homie, I mean, today um, I have a stretch big. My homie Mac asked for a stretch. Um, he didn't say anything in particular that he wanted, but, um, you know, I'm just going to give you guys a blueprint. So, a shout out to Mac, always showing love. Um, with this build, um, you can do a little bit of everything, man. So, I want you guys to make sure that you pay attention and listen to what I'm saying for this build. But, uh, let's get into it. So, um, we chose the center position. Um, the reason I'm going 7 foot tall is because I tried to build at 7 foot, 6'11", 6'10", 6'9". And 7 foot give me the best uh, for this build. Um, 252 pounds for the weight still can get chased down artists on gold seven foot wingspan now this is going to uh, keep some people away from the bill because you do have like baby arms on this bill you know what i'm saying but you still can make it work i, I promise you i got a bit my bill is similar to this so i know what it can do okay so let's go ahead and get into the finishing with this bill um i think that like the combination of close shot and standard dunk are very important together okay um, if that makes sense, I know it says standing dunk, but at the same time, if you don't make the dunk, then you will get a standing dunk animation, okay? So, the close shot will come into play when you don't get a dunk every time. Now, with this build, I did an 83 on the standing dunk. Um, on mine, I did a 92. Um, I would prefer a 92, but some people don't care too much about standing dunk like I do. So, I'm going to leave that up to the person that created this build. Uh, so, we do have an 83, but you will get the big man contact dunks. Now, 75 driver dunk is what I've been testing out on the centers um, since the game came out. And it's a uh, really good number to have um, if you want to dunk at the rim. And then you want posterizer. I see a lot of people doing a 65 on the driver dunk. And they don't even get posterizer. I understand you do get the contact dunks with the uh, standing dunk. But you still want posterizer. At least on bronze. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we have for the driver dunk. And the layup is at a 55. So as far as the standing dunk. we're gonna, I mean um, post control. We're going to take that up a little bit. Just so we can get post fade phenom on this bill. <clears throat> post fade feet number on this bill, excuse me. And you will be able to go on the post. You know what I'm saying? With my personal bill that's like this, um, I do have like an 84, 85 um, post control or something like that. So let's go down to the strength. We're going to make sure we get that up to at least a 90. Okay. Uh, we're going to get that vertical up to an 80 so we can get gold chase down on this. Uh, we won't rise up and we want all those bads that see to the right. So when we come back up, as you can see, we do get silver rise up, silver fast twitch. Um, we also get silver um, area wizard, silver precision dunker, silver two step. So you have a lot of silver badges. Like right here, we got um, fearless finisher, we got masher, we get post fade phenom that will go up to gold. We get hook specialist. So you do have a lot of good badges that um, help you out with the finishing. But let's go ahead and get to the best part of the build. This is what will make the build a stretch big. Don't worry about the name, okay? Because they took stretch five off the game. Um, it's a spot up thread and all that old bull crap. But hey, man, we know what this build is. So we're going to take the mid-range shot to a 93, okay? With a 93 mid-range shot, that's your bread and butter, okay? With my build, I haven't maxed this out yet, but I can't wait to max it out because when you have Hall of Fame catch and shoot, you're not going to miss a lot of shots, okay? You got dead on goal, blinders on goal, green machine goal, post fade freedom on goal. Um, Hall of Fame guard up, open looks, comeback kid, middle magician. Like, you're going to shoot lights out with this bill, and we still gave the bill an 85 three-point shot. We want to be able to space the floor for real, for real with this bill. And an 85 three-point shot will give you that ability, okay? So make sure you are learning your jump shots and going out there and testing those jump shots out because you shouldn't be missing with this bill. And I do have a bill like this, and I do miss, but I know it's 2K because... I, like like yesterday or day for yesterday, I shot like five for eight. Last night I went eight for ten, but you know a game or two before that, um, I went like two for ten. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like you have to gauge how the game is playing, and if you see your shot is not um, the normal timing, then something is wrong with the game. Okay, so don't think that the build is not good or your jump shot is not good. Just adjust to what's going on. Okay, with the 85 three-point shot, we do get gold corner specialists. I have been shooting out of the corner a lot with my uh, center bill because just just think about this. Most centers that guard you, they're going to want to come out the paint. Okay, I mean, they're going to want to stay in the paint. They're not going to want to come out the paint. So that's something that can help you out in the long run, you know what I'm saying? So don't be so quick to run in there because 
Even like on the fast break, okay? On the fast break, what I like to do is stop at the three-point line because I know the center is going to run straight to the rim. You feel what I'm saying? So I stop in transition and get an easy three like that, okay? But let's get into the playmaking order. Sauce. So with the pass accuracy, we do have a 75. I want you guys to get break start on silver, so that's pretty good. Um, we do have a 55 on the ball handle and a 40 on the speed ball. So I wanted you to be able to dribble just a little bit, okay? And the speed, we're going to take that up, up to a 66 and take the acceleration up. And as you can see, we do get um, unpluckable. We got big driver. We don't get handled for days. We're not worried about that. Uh, but we do get big driver on this build. Um, you don't necessarily have to have it high. You know, you just want to be able to move around just a little bit. You know, enough to, you know, put the ball on the floor one or two times and then get to a shot. Um, you will have uh, the ability to fade um, in the mid range with this build. So that's another uh, staple that I'm going to add to my build. Okay, I'm going to get in the post and do some post fades. Once I get my mid-range and my post control up so I can kind of throw people off because I've been playing against people that play like that lately. You know what I'm saying? They've been doing post phase and all that stuff. So I'm going to add it to my game so I won't be like, I'm not one-dimensional now, but, you know, that's just something that will make you an even um, a better player. You know what I'm saying? So as far as the defense, we're going to get the interior defense up to a 74. Y'all know how I feel about that. A lot of people talk trash about that 74 interior defense, but a 74 interior defense will get the job done. I promise you it will. So no need to worry about that. All right, now on this perimeter defense, and still you can add that if you want to. It's up to you. On the um, block, we're going to take that to an 87 because we want silver anchor, gold taste down artist, and silver pogo. So you will be able to get up and block some shots with this build, no doubt about it. For the rebound, we're going to take the offense rebound to a 93. Now, on my bill, I got a 85 and 85, but this one right here has a 93 and a 78, which I think um, gold rebound taste is, is, is the best to have. You know what I'm saying? But I just make silver rebound taste to work. If you can't make it work, don't worry about adding it to your bill. But you do have gold on this bill, and you're going to need it because, you know, you got those short arms, but you shouldn't have a problem getting rebounds if you know what you're doing. For the speed, we have a 66. Acceleration 54, 90 on the strength, 80 on the vert, and the rest is on stamina. Now let's get into these shades up. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we do have shades of Fatatunas, George Mikan, and uh, Buddy from the Hawks. I, I ain't never tried to pronounce his name, but we have the glass cleaning three level threat, man. Mac, I hope you like this build. Let me know if you don't like it, man. I'll make another one. You know, you know how I do, man. I don't mind at all. But you know, if you if you have a problem with the height, you know, I'll take the height down or whatever. But uh, don't forget to let me know in the comments what's your favorite way to recharge during the weekends. And don't forget to subscribe to my homie uh, YouTube channel, The Guys and the Recovery Room Podcast. And I'm out of here, man. Charge!